In this video, we'll look at what Kathy Wood, the CEO of ARK Invest, just said about the crypto market. She sounded very optimistic and made some very important predictions. Before we look at them, let's look at how Bitcoin and cryptos are doing right now. So Bitcoin is back above 20K and ETH is also in the green today. The trading volume of both cryptos also looks pretty good, indicating that the interest in the market hasn't completely faded yet. Now let's come back to Kathy Wood. First, she talked about the current bear market for cryptos. She took a deep dive into the history of crypto and financial market crashes. Well, crypto had its worst quarter since 2011, um, and it's a much more mature market than it was back then with the boom bust. So that's saying something. Uh, the S&P down 20% year to date, NASDAQ down roughly 30%. Uh, so the stock market has not seen a worse, uh, a worse year to date since 1962. And, uh, and that was when the Cuban crystal, uh, missile crisis took place. Uh, and then what happened after that is we ended up uh, in the Great Society, guns and butter, and uh, inflation took off. But first, the stock market was, was uh, a barn burner. It was uh, very hot from 62 to 66. Uh, when it comes to bonds, uh, this has been the worst year-to-date performance in bonds in anyone's lifetime. Um, and by some measures, you have to piecemeal uh, the bonds, but uh, to, to, to try and get the record, uh, the worst since 1788. Uh, you know, that's more than 250 years ago. So, uh, or almost 250 years ago. So it's been a very, very rough, rough market for investors. She then changed her tone and became really optimistic about where the market is going from here. She also presented some crucial data that we need to look at. First, U.S. states except for Colorado and Utah are rethinking allowing tax payments due to bear market prices. President of the Florida Blockchain Business Association, Samuel Arms reportedly stated that a lot of states were interested in allowing tax payments in crypto to show that they're crypto-friendly. By allowing these payments, they'll also be able to attract a new wave of tech and talent. So that's really good news because it just goes to show that the government is very much interested in cryptos. Now coming back to Kathy Wood, she said. Uh, we think there is light at the end of the tunnel. The light is that the Fed is getting a lot of uh, signals that will ultimately end up in the lagging indicators called the PPI and the CPI. Uh, they're getting a lot of indicators and I think a lot of companies are going to be telegraphing in their earnings reports this next month that we are in recession. And I do believe the Fed uh, will do a, a, a double take. She then started talking about Bitcoin and how Bitcoin is still above its pre-COVID prices. As I've been saying, when you're in doubt, you need to zoom out. And this is exactly what Kathy Wood was suggesting. She talked about the recent Terra Luna crash, the repercussions this crash has had on the crypto market, and what she expects will happen in the next couple of months. She also looked at several indicators for Bitcoin and came up with her latest predictions. I want to spend uh, a little time on crypto. It has been an incredible month and fears of systemic collapse have been rife in the marketplace. Uh, so we, we've seen uh, Bitcoin, it peaked way back in November at 69,000, and it is now at 19,500. Uh, 19, um, uh, it is still higher than its pre-COVID 7 to 10,000 range. And it is just about at its uh, uh, 2017 high. So this could be some support. It's also at, um, it's, it's, it is below its, uh, its 200 week moving average, uh, which is at 22,500. So there is some concern that that is the new resistance. Now, as we've seen the last month play out, talk about um, a reach for yield. Crypto personified that, DeFi personified that. 
uh, when, uh, and, and we knew that uh, the Luna Terra experiment with algorithmic stable, stable coins was not going to work. It was backed by nothing. And uh, I remember we did a, a podcast with Do Kwan, it's still on our site. And I remember listening to it twice because I, I couldn't understand what he was doing or saying. I am an economist uh, by background. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, I really do try and noodle through these things. And I just didn't think that was going to work. Uh, and it failed in spectacular fashion in, in May. It has taken Celsius down with it, uh, Voyager Digital, uh, Three Hour Arrows Capital, uh, BlockFi almost. It was very interesting uh, to see BlockFi's last funding round at $3 uh, billion. This is a lending platform and uh, tried to do another round recently at $1 billion. Uh, he th couldn't get it done. And today it seems that uh, FTX um, is, going to, uh, is going to buy it out, or it has the option to buy the equity for $240 million. A rumor this week had it at $25 million, so much better than that but m much worse, less than a tenth of its last round. And as you know, if you, if you saw our last report, we have a lot of on-chain analytics which give us a sense of, um, of the capitulation in the marketplace and also a sense of what is going bad out there. The transparency uh, in, in the market, uh, I think, is the reason we've seen a lot of failures very quickly. Uh, we have, compared to the opacity in the traditional financial markets, uh, I think the um, shakeout in crypto has happened sooner and faster uh, than it would have in the traditional financial markets. Um, it's uh, interesting that BlockFi uh, uh, is, is going to FTX. We know that uh, two other platforms or companies, Lenden, which is a, or Led, Led which is a, um, a lending platform in Canada, highly regarded, uh, also seem to be interested, as did, I believe, Morgan Creek. Now, these, these are people who really know what's going on in DeFi. I will say that uh, I am feeling a lot better about what's going on in the crypto world right now. Um, you'll see our Bitcoin monthly. I would say, you know, we're neutral to positive. We're waiting for a few, uh, a few more capitulation signals. Uh, and of course, time will tell on uh, the systemic side here. Um, and uh, we haven't heard of uh, another stress signal in the, in the last few days, so so that's good as as well. So the what I will leave with is what's happened in the crypto market gives you a sense of why it is a very um, why it's going to work long run. It's transparent. Um, and there's a lot more trust in the crypto ecosystem because of the transparency and the over collateralization uh, than I think there is in the traditional financial markets.